hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly like my videos if they help in your learning now uh, we are going to solve this uh, sample problem 4 from chapter 5 in this problem uh, we are required to locate the centroid of the area under the curve x equals to k y cube from x equals to 0 to x equals to e right so we are given this curve this profile uh, and we are given this function the function of this curve right so x is a function of y and x is equal to k uh, y cube and we are required to locate the centroid of this uh, given curve from x equals to 0 to x equals to a right so now let's say that the centroid of this given area is located somewhere here right so uh, the distance of this centroid along the x-axis from the y-axis is, is x bar and the distance of this centroid from the x-axis along the y-axis is y bar right so we can say that the coordinates of this centroid is x bar and y bar right so we are required to find this x bar and y bar in terms of uh, these lengths a and b right so we will find this x bar and y bar by using uh, two methods right so uh, in first uh, method what we will do is that we will consider this area this differential area right this vertical differential area right and in the second method we will consider the horizontal differential area right so you people will compare both the methods right and both the methods will give us the same values for x bar and y bar right so this is the first method right so as we can see that if we consider this differential area this differential strip right so this strip is located at a distance of x from this origin right and it has a thickness or width of dx right and let's say that this is the this point is the centroid of this differential area right so the distance of this uh, centroid of this differential area from the y axis is, is this thing right let's say that this is that distance so let's say that this distance is xc right so now as we can see that this xc will be equal to x right since uh, this point is located at, dist at a distance of x from the origin right and similarly the distance of this centroid of this uh, differential element from the x axis is, is yc which is equal to y divided by 2 since the length of this differential element along the y axis is, is y right so this is y so this length is y so the centroid will be located at the mid length right so that yc equals to y divided by 2 and this centroid of this differential element is located at a distance of x from the origin right so now we are given this equation this uh, function right so we can say that x equals to k y cube or we can find this k we can write that k equals to x divided by y cube so as we can see that when x equals to a at this particular point when x equals to a y equals to b right so we can say that when x equals to a y is equal to b right so if i substitute this x and b value in this uh, k equation so we will we will find that k constant right in terms of a and b so x when x is equal to a y equals to b right so k equals to a divided by b cube so now what we will do is that we will apply the principle of moments equation right so first i will find the x bar so for x bar what i will do i will write x bar into area equals to integration right x c and d a right so as we are considering this differential strip in this differential area so then we can say that d a will be equal to this uh, this y this y into dx right so we can write that this is y dx right so we can write here and as i have told you people that that xc equals to x right so we can write that this xc is x and this is y dx right so since the integration is with respect to x so the x uh, range is from 0 to a the maximum value of x is a right so we will integrate this from 0 to a right so i will write that this is from 0 to a right and similarly we can write that this is x bar a right 
so now uh, since the integration is with respect to x right so we need to write this y as a function of x right so we are given this x equals to k y cube so from this equation we can write that uh, y cube equals to x divided by k or uh, we can write that y equals to x to the power 1 divided by 3 divided by k to the power 1 divided by 3 right or if i substitute this k value in this equation right so then we can write that uh, i can write it here that x 1 to the power 3 so this will be a divided by b cube to the power 1 divided by 3 right so from this we can write that y y is x to the power 1 divided by 3 and this will be a to the power 1 divided by 3 divided by b 3 into 1 by 3 will be b to the power 1 right so we can write it like this as well right so we can take this b in the numerator right so this will be b x to the power 1 divided by 3 divided by a uh, to the power 1 divided by 3 right so now this is the function of y right this is y uh, y as a function of x right so we can write this as x bar a and this is equal to 0 to a and we can replace y as a function of x is b x to the power 1 divided by 3 divided by a 1 divided by 3 dx right so now this is very important equation let me write that this is this is our first equation this is our equation one right let me move this equation so now this is uh, our equation one right so first uh, here we have the total area right of uh, this area right so we need to find this area first right so how to find this area since uh, it we do not know any formula to find the area for this particular uh, curve right so what we will do is that we will use the integration to find the area under the curve right so as we know that area equals to dA the summation of all the differential elements from 0 to a so that will give us the total area right so first what we will do is that we will find the area under the curve right so this is from 0 to a dA right so again I will write dA is again uh, dA is this thing again so I will write that this is from 0 to a y dx so again I will write y as a function of x so this is y as a function of x right so uh, this is b x to the power 1 divided by 3 to the power a 1 divided by 3 dx from 0 to a right so we can take this b and a term outside of the integration right so this will be b divided by a to the power 1 divided by 3 and this uh, x to the power 1 divided by 3 so if we integrate this we will be left with 0 to a x to the power 1 divided by 3 dx right so this will be equal to b a 1 divided by 3 and if we integrate this so this will be 1 divided by 3 plus 1 so this will be 4 divided by 3 divided by 4 divided by 3 or we can write it as 3 divided by 4 like this right and this integration is from 0 to a right so if we put these limits so this is uh, b into 4 a 1 divided by 3 and this will be we can write this 3 here as well so this is 3 b and this will be a 4 divided by 3 right so we can further simplify this this will be equal to we can write that this is 3 b and if this a 1 divided by 3 comes towards the numerator so this will become minus right so we can write that this is 3 b divided by 4 so this is a 4 divided by 3 into a uh, minus 1 divided by 3 so if we subtract this so this will be a uh, this will be a to the power 1 4 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 is 1 right so we can write it as a to the power 1 right so now this uh, total area under the curve is 3 a b divided by 4 right so i will write it here as a equals to 3 
a b divided by 4 so this is very important right let me write this area here right so this area is 3 a b divided by 4 right so now uh, we know we know this area right so now we will find this integration right so let me write that i want to find i want to find the integration of the right hand side right so the right hand side is uh, if if we if i take b and a terms outside of the integration so this will be b a to the power 1 divided by 3 and this x to the power 1 and this x to the power 1 divided by 3 they will add up right so the powers will add up so this will be x 1 plus 1 by 3 is 4 divided by 3 right and this is from 0 to a and this is dx right so this is equal to b a to the power 1 divided by 3 so if we integrate this so this will be 4 divided by 3 plus 1 so 4 divided by 3 plus 1 is a uh, 7 divided by 3 and this will be divided by 7 divided by 3 so we can write it as 3 divided by 7 and this will be from 0 to a right similarly i can write this as b, uh, this is 3 b divided by 7 a to the power 1 divided by 3 and if we put this limit so this will be a 7 divided by 3 so this will be we can write it like this as well so this will be 3 b a 7 divided by 3 this a term will come to the numerator so this will become negative so this 7 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 so this will be 6 divided by 3 right so 7 divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3 so this is 6 divided by 3 so this means that this is 2 right so so we will be left with a square right so this will become a square right so this is the right hand side right so if i put this in equation one so we will have x a equals to 3 a square b divided by 7 right this is that 3 a square b divided by 7 and since we know a as well right so a is this thing right this is 3 a b divided by 4 right so now 3 will cancel out this a will cancel out this b will cancel out so we will be left with x bar equals to this 4 will be multiplied right so this will be 4 divided by 7 and we are left with only 1 a right so x bar is 4 divided by 7 a so this is the coordinate the x coordinate of the centroid of this given area right under this x equals to ky cube curve so now let me write here as x bar equals to 4 divided by 7 a right now uh, we will find the y bar coordinate of the centroid right so for that what i will do i will write uh, again apply the principle of moments equation so i will write y bar into a and this will be again from 0 to a and this time we will write y c d a right so again this uh, da is this thing again y dx so let me write it here so this will be y dx and from here we know that yc is half of the height of this differential strip right so this is y divided by 2 so i can replace this yc as y divided by 2 so this will become y square divided by 2 right so i can write that this is y square divided by 2 so this is y bar a equals to y square divided by 2 and since the integration is with respect to x so we will replace this y square as a function of x right so as we know that this is the function right this is y as a function of x we have already determined right so i can write this as we can take this one by two outside the integration so this is one divided by two from zero to a and i can write that this is b x to the power one divided by three divided by a 1 divided by 3 so this is y right and this is now squared dx right so if i uh, write this power on each and every term right so this will be b square so this will be 2 divided by 3 and this will be 2 divided by 3 right so we can remove this square now this is dx right so now i can apply this integration right so this is uh, 
half we can take this b square and a 2 divided by 3 is from outside from the integration so this is we are left with x 2 divided by 3 from 0 to a dx right this is b square 2 a to the power 2 divided by 3 and if we integrate this so this will be x 2 divided by 3 plus 1 so 2 divided by 3 plus 1 is uh, 5 divided by 3 right so i will write it as 5 divided by 3 divided by the power so this is 5 divided by 3 we can write this 3 in the numerator so this will be 3 divided by 5 and this is from 0 to a so this is uh, we can write it as 3 this 3 then b square then 2 5s are 10 10 a to the power 2 divided by 3 and if we apply these limits so this will be a to the power 5 divided by 3 so now we can simplify this this a term k if we write this a term in the numerator so this will be a to the power minus 2 divided by 3 and 5 divided by 3 minus 2 divided by 3 is uh, 3 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 right so we can write it as a uh, the, we will be left with a to the power 1 right so this will be a to the power 1 so we can write that this integration is 3 divided by 10 a b square right and this is equal to y bar a so now we know this area right so what what about this area so we can write that this is y bar and that area is this is 3 a b divided by 4 right so i can write that this is 3 a b divided by 4 and this is equal to 3 divided by 10 a b square so we can cancel out this 3 we can cancel out this a and we can cancel out 1 b right so we will be left with we can write that y bar equals to this 4 divided by 10 and here we are left with only 1 b right so 4 divided by 10 b right so this is the y coordinate of the centroid of this given curve right so now we can write that the centroid is located at a distance of 4 divided by 7 a and 4 divided by 10 b right so i hope you people would have understood this method of finding the centroid for a given curve right so this is the first method right in the next coming video i will solve this particular problem by considering the horizontal strip right